Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to keep working on our Cubase video tutorials. And on today's tutorial we're going to learn how to disable, duplicate and delete tracks in Cubase. So um, I have a Cubase project here. It only has one track, one audio track. It's labeled as lead. Uh, you can see it's color coded to kind of like that yellowish color. Um, so uh, uh, let's let's learn first how to duplicate a track, okay? Uh, a lot of people, when they don't know how to duplicate, they just create a new track and then copy and paste the same information, the same events that were in the previews to the second. That definitely works, but there's definitely a faster way to do it, which is duplicating. How do you do it? Simple. Uh, if you're here in your main timeline window, you can click on the track to select it, and if you right-click it after that, you're going to have all of these options. Um, there's one here that says duplicate. If you click on it, you can see that a new track has been created. Uh, it has the same uh, quote unquote lead event, audio event. You see it's labeled as lead, but the track is named as lead and then parenthesis D, meaning that it's a duplicated version of the original. Now, when you duplicate a track, um, it is it is very important that you understand that the fact that it's duplicated does not mean that they're linked. Okay, so if I go to my main track here, the one on top, and I decide to let's say erase, erase it, you see the other one is not erased. Okay, um, if I decide to create a fade, like a fade in there. That doesn't mean that the other one's going to have it. As a matter of fact, it does not. Okay, so they're not du they're they are duplicated, but they're not linked. They're not uh, tied to each other. They're independent. If you go to your console, once again, you're going to see lead and lead duplicated. Uh, but you can play with the fader however you want. They don't have to be in the same uh, position or anything like that. You could have one muted, one soloed. Uh, or one mute and not the other, or whatever. Uh, what I'm trying to say here is that they are, as far as processing, they're completely independent. Okay? So that's how you duplicate. Now, how do you disable a track? Well, let's say that you want to disable this lead that you have. Now, first of all, why would you want to disable? If there's a track that you don't want, uh, to be using, you know, consuming CPU resources, but you do not want to get rid of it, you can disable it. Uh, that's kind of like turning it off, if that makes sense. It won't consume your CPU resources, it won't use your computer's horsepower, but it'll stay there. So in the future, if you decide that you want it, you can always use it. So how do you do it? Once again, you click on the track to select it, then you right click it and you look for the Sable selected tracks. You click there and you can see it's now grayed out. Uh, you cannot mute it, you cannot solo it, you cannot record enable, you cannot monitor it, you can't add effects, nothing. If you go to your console, it doesn't even show up in your console because it's been disabled. It's not part of your... Um, it, it, it is not consuming your computer CPU resources. You cannot mix it. That's why it doesn't appear in the console. Uh, however, it is there. It is there so you can use it in the future. If you want to re-enable it, you can right-click it again. Look for Enable Selected Tracks. And it is back. Back also in the Mix console. You can see here. And you can, again, do whatever you want, mute, solo, record, enable, add effects, so on and so forth. The last one for today, uh, how to delete a track. Well, once again, you right click on the track that you want and you look for remove selected tracks. Cubase does not call it delete, it calls it remove. Remove selected tracks, you can also do shift delete. So when you do that, it's going to ask you some of the tracks that you want to delete contain data or events. Do you really want to delete these tracks? Um, yes. Boom. It's gone. The track is not there anymore. If I go to my mix console, it's not there either. So at that point, um, you have deleted the track. You can always undo, right? 
Uh, but in general, when you delete it, you want to see that as a permanent thing. If Okay, I definitely do not want the track. I, I'm not going to use it again. Just go ahead and delete it. So that's how you duplicate, disable, and delete tracks in Cubase. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any other questions, please call us from Lobedi and PC Audio Labs, and we'll be happy to help you. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.